Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John Lewis Reports for the 29th of June. And, well, as we get towards the end of the month, you can see we've been in a solid uh, up run from the uh, dip right back to the 50%. Institutions bought that up big time and been sailing ever since. Um, we still have green above uh, cyan on the DOC. So from that standpoint, all of it's doing what it's supposed to do. And we're at positive shakeout, which is necessary at this stage. In fact, we've got to get uh, plus 10 or better, which means uh, at the beginning of the month, we need to see a blowout move uh, to the upside uh, early on when new fund money comes in. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have a hard time uh, sustaining these levels because we'll end up with a lower shakeout on higher highs. And we all know how that goes. It never ends well as far as price maintaining itself. And the NQ has been the leader. I mean, this is clearly divergent from uh, the S&P and has shown the strength throughout. So it's been that uh, separation uh, between the two readings that uh, clearly is pointing to the NASDAQ. And, um, this is where a lot of people talked about in the rollover that we had from that option expiration that led to that only uh, decline was on the S&P uh, was that shift uh, out of commodities and uh, other speculative areas back into the NASDAQ uh, with the potential for, you know, the U.S. Uh, economy uh, gaining momentum from uh, the reduced uh, lockdowns and things like that. In fact, actually here in Italy, uh, don't have to have a mask outdoors anymore. So, whoa, after, you know, a year and a half. Um, but... Um, it's just a slow evolution, and the problem is that slow movement uh, has created such disruptions. And the fact that most of these central banks are still running the game, and in fact, that's why we see this with gold. Um, likewise, in the euro, uh, this is the battle of the U.S. would like to have uh, devalue the dollar a little bit more. Euro is not so interested in that because it makes their goods more expensive. And... Um, we're going to reach that equilibrium. It's probably going to be somewhere in that 117 to 114 range, which is where it's been before. This has been the outlier because I thought the U.S. was going to be able to print uh, excised, uh, in excess amounts uh, over everybody else, but that turned out not to be the case so far. Um, and even now with that uh, potential uh, infrastructure plan, it's still going to be less than uh, what was optimally designed. So uh, a little bit of pushback uh, is kind of ease the market. You can see here from Bitcoin thing, uh, we had that spike of weight, made the new uh, move back to the 0% mark, um, where Magenta popped right back above and barred right back to, but you see it's just been flatlining along there. In fact, um, it's actually holding up pretty well given the fact that we've seen several of the weight spikes going up, and that's mostly because we've been cyan to red uh, on the DOC here with the steel in a full reset, so it's just holding on, biding its time. And um, it's interesting though that uh, these algorithm levels um, hold pretty well, uh, even for something like uh, Bitcoin, uh, simply because it's traded on the futures uh, that really adds to its uh, multiple capability of being uh, manipulated by uh, algorithms. Intraday, uh, another kind of soft day, um, at least from a volume standpoint, you can see between the two lines is the length of the day. I mean, we get that pre-market on an active day, so not really a whole lot happening there. And every time we were getting these white spikes above, we were expecting a new zero, came through, and then uh, Magenta took over. That's where the white MBIs popped in and took off. So that's the long and the short of it. Right now, we're looking at a little weak spot here with the uh, white MBI over. And that should fill back in a ways. Uh, even with the uh, sign in the red, we could get the DOC spread on there where the sign moves above red uh, at any time. And uh, we've got positive extremes going all the way back to here, which would put us uh, around the 68 range on a decent pullback, just within 10 points. Prepping everything for uh, indicator renewals for uh, July. Uh, I think that uh, it'll be interesting because July I was going into, there's always usually fireworks right around the beginning of July. So it's always fun, uh, unrelated to Independence Day stuff uh, within the markets. So we'll see how that uh, starts to play out and develop itself on the readings. As always, though, trade well. Uh, we'll be on the Skype chat. We'll talk later.